Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I wanted to do a review on another budget trail camera I'm gonna try out. This is the Vanbar D500 trail camera. The price was pretty similar to the cam parks that I've done reviews on before. It's about 50 to $60. It just kind of depends if you catch them when they have a coupon as well. Again, it has similar features. You can do video mode, picture mode, or video and picture mode. It has a 0.2 second trigger. It says it has upgraded CMOS sensors and a new PIR sensor. It supports a micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes. So let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. So it has a surprise in there. Looks like you can redeem a card reader, a 32 gigabyte card, or 20 money. Not sure what that means, but we'll take a look. It's also uh, written in German as well as English, it looks like. So then you have the camera itself. You have the manual. A strap. A cable. Some mounting hardware. And then the mounting plate. The strap looks decent. It's not a clip strap. You actually have to tighten it down. It looks like by hand. So we'll go ahead and open up the camera. So it looks like it takes eight batteries. It doesn't have a cover on the batteries like the Cam Park does. It does seem to seal pretty well. It's got a spot for a lock as well. It's got a screen on the front. And honestly, the setup looks very similar to the Cam Park. I'm going to go ahead and get a SD card and eight batteries so I can get this installed and we can take a look at the settings. Alright, so let's put the batteries in. We'll turn it to test. It says insert memory card. Card error. Well, that's not a good start. Let's go ahead and format it and see if that helps. Okay, so that made the error go away. So if you format it, you should not have a card error anymore. So as far as settings go, you have your mode, which is photo, video, or photo and video. You have your PIR interval, which is the time between detections. So if it triggers and then it's gonna wait 30 seconds and then it'll trigger again. So I set that to 30 seconds. Your PIR level is your sensitivity, whether it's high, middle, or low. I have it on high for now. Infrared lamps, hunting or security. So I looked into the booklet. I don't really fully understand this, but it seems like depending which you choose will change on what sensitivity levels you have options for. So for hunting, you have all three options. If you go to security, you only have low and middle sensitivity. So I kept it on hunting. Then capture number is the number of pictures. So you have one, two, or three. I did two. Video length, obviously, is your length of video. So it starts at 10 seconds as your shortest and goes up to 5 minutes. So I kept it at 10 seconds. Video size, I have as 1080p. Language, they have a bunch of options. So obviously, I kept English. You can set the clock. So I have that set. It uses military time. Stamp. I have is on so it'll show you the temperature, the date, time, 
etc. Photo size, I did the highest quality. It has from 5 megapixels all the way up to 20. As I mentioned before though, you kind of have to be careful on the megapixels because these may be 20 megapixels, but it's digitally enhanced. Software just says if there's an update and what version. Audio recording I have is on. Time lapse I have is off. Timer settings. So this lets you set like a schedule if you want to set a schedule or not. So if I click it on, you can kind of set a schedule here. Camera name I have is off. I didn't think I needed to really name it. Security code, that's just password protection if you want to have a password on your camera. I have the alarm off. It's the first time I've seen an alarm on a camera. It really seems like they're trying to make this camera double as a security camera as well if you want to do that. Match code, I couldn't really understand anything in the booklet on what this meant, so not really sure what that does. Format, that's if you want to format your card. Default, that's returning to your default settings. If any of your date format you can choose. And your temperature units you can choose. So that really does it for all the settings. As you can see here, it looks very similar to the cam park. You can use the replay to view your pictures. These are just your arrow buttons. I believe up and down will change from your video to camera setting. And then you can take a practice shot with that and then just the menu and the OK button. One thing I actually like about this one better than the cam parks is how the memory card fits in there. It's actually really easy to put in and out. The cam park, you kind of have to stick your thumbnail in there and try and get out, so that's kind of nice. So that's it for all the settings. So it really seems like it kind of is similar to how the cam park operates. Um, construction looks pretty good. You know, quality seems decent. You know, so I'll, I'll set it up outside in the backyard for now and see how the pictures turn out. I'll also go ahead and test this out in the field. I'll be heading out to the property in a couple weeks and I'll be able to put it out there and hopefully get some more pictures from it. And when I do that, I can send an update or just add on to this video. But I'll let y'all know how it works. If you have any questions or want to purchase this camera, I'll put a link in the description below. If you're interested in my other reviews, go ahead and check out my unboxing and review playlist. I review a couple other cameras, including two cell cameras. Go ahead and check that out.